Hello, welcome to how to solve this very nice system of equations. AB is equal to 15, BC is equal to 30, CA is equal to 45. We need to find the value of A plus B plus C. So, let's start. Let's call this equation, equation 1, this equation, equation 2, this equation, equation 3. Now, first we find the value of A times B times C. To find this value, we multiply all these three equations. Equation 1 times equation 2 times equation 3. So, AB times BC times CA is equal to 15 times 30 times 45. Now, this will become A times A times B times B times C times C is equal to 15 times 30 times 45 is 20,250. Now, this uh, a times a will become a squared times this uh, b times b will become b squared times this uh, c times c will become c squared is equal to 20,250. Now, this uh, a squared times uh, b squared times uh, c squared can be written as a b c whole squared is equal to 20,250. Now, from here we take a square root of both sides a times b times c whole squared we take a square root on the left hand side is equal to 20,250 and we take a square root on the right hand side. So, this square will be cancelled out with this uh, square root and uh, at left hand side we are left with a times b times c is equal to to find the square root of uh, this number 20,250 we factorize this uh, 20,250 20,250 and we factorize it number is uh, divisible by 2 to 10 times 20 to 1 time 2 2 2 times 4 and 2 5 times 10 now this number is divisible by 5 5 2 times 10 5 0 times 0 5 2 times 10 and 5 5 times 25 again this is divisible by 5 5 uh, 4 times 20, 5 0 times 0 and 5 5 times 25. Again this is divisible by 5, 5 uh, 8 times 40 and 5 1 times 5. Now this number 81 is uh, divisible by 3, 3 2 times 6 and 3 7 times 21. Again this is divisible by 3, 3 9 times 27. And uh, 3, 3 times 9, and uh, 3, 1 times 3. So, this is the square root of uh, 20,250 can be written as square root of this uh, 3 times 3 can be written as 3 squared, this 3 times 3 can be written as 3 squared, and this uh, 5 times 5 can be written as 5 squared, and this 2 times 5. So, we write this as uh, 3 squared times uh, 3 squared times 5 squared times this uh, 2 times 5 will become 10. Next, a times b times c is equal to now this square will be cancelled out with this square root and this square will be cancelled out with the square root and this square will be cancelled out with the square root. So, here we are left with the 3 times 3 times 5 
time this 10 remains under square root square root of 10 next a times b times c is equal to 3 times 3 9 and 9 times 5 45 times square root of 10 so we have the value of a b c 45 times root 10 and we have the values of a b is equal to 15 b c is equal to 30 and c a is equal to 45 we have a b is equal to 15 b c is equal to 30 and c a is equal to 45 now we find the values of a b and c so a will be equal to a b c divided by b c is equal to now a b c is equal to 45 times root 10 divided by b c is equal to 30 so we write here 30 and this is equal to this 30 is 15 times 2 and this 45 is 15 times 3 so a will be equal to 3 times root 10 divided by 2 now b will be equal to a times b times c divided by c a so this will be equal to a b c is 45 times root 10 divided by c a is 45 so this will be equal to this 45 will be cancelled out this 45 and here we are left with the root 10 now c will be equal to a b c divided by a b and this is equal to a b c is 45 times root 10 divided by a b is 15 and this will be equal to 15 1 time and 15 3 times 45 so c will be equal to 3 times root 10 now we have a is equal to 3 times root 10 over 2 and b is equal to square root of 10 and c is equal to 3 times root 10 And now we find a plus b plus c so this will be equal to 3 times root 10 divided by 2 plus root 10 plus 3 times root 10 next a plus b plus c is equal to 3 times root 10 over 2 this 1 times root 10 plus 3 times root 10 will become plus 4 times root 10 next a plus b plus c is equal to we can write the denominator of this 4 times root 10 1 and we find the LCM of this 2 and this 1 LCM of 2 and 1 is 2 and 2 divided by 2 is 1 1 times this uh, 3 times root 10 3 times root 10 plus 2 divided by 1 is 2 so we multiply this 4 times root 10 by 2 so this will become 2 times 4 root 10 next a plus b plus c is equal to 3 times root 10 plus this 2 times 4 will become 8 times root 10 divided by 2 
next a plus b plus c is equal to 3 times root 10 plus 8 times root 10 will become 11 times root 10 divided by 2. This is the required value of a plus b plus c. This is the final answer of this equation. So, a plus b plus c is equal to 11 times root 10 divided by 2.